Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Make a Better World. I'm your host, David Tare, and today I figured uh, I might as well resume my series on um, space travel. It's a very popular series on this channel, and since the election's over, I guess I don't have to you know, talk about what's going on with the election anymore. We, we know that Trump's going to be our next president, unfortunately, but I don't want to get into that. Anyway, let's just resume uh, what I've been doing on space travel. Today I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, this is part two of my history of unmanned space missions. Uh, about a month ago I did the first part, which went, it was just, uh, you know, during the 20th century up to, I guess, uh, 1999. Today I'm going to talk about what we've done uh, in this century in unmanned space missions. and We've done quite a bit, so let's, let's begin. Um, so, in 2002, there was a program called GRACE, which was an acronym for the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, and this was a joint mission between NASA and the German Aerospace Center um, in 2002, and it actually operated from 2002 to 2017, and it made detailed measurements of the Earth's gravity, Earth's gravitational field. And what it showed was uh, variations in distribution of, of mass on Earth, in particular the, uh, the ocean. And it gave us very useful information about what's going on with our oceans. So, so that was an important mission. And then uh, and from 2003 to 2019, we had MER, which is an acronym for the Mars Exploration Rover. Uh, this is one of many uh, Martian rovers that's been sent. Um, in recent years. This is a robotic space mission. Include, uh, uh, I guess, two, uh, two rovers, MERA, which was named Spirit, and MERB, which was named Opportunity. And uh, they both, uh, I guess, uh, took uh, rock and soil samples, and they were looking for, uh, you know, water activity in the past. I don't know if they found any. Uh, I know there's been a lot of missions to Mars where you know, uh, uh, um, they've been looking for, you know, the possibility of whether there was liquid water on Mars or life on Mars in the past. Uh, I guess we've been obsessed with whether life exists or has existed on Mars uh, for probably about 200 years ever since, uh, you know, Lowell supposedly found the canal, you know, what he called the canali, which were channels in Italian, and it was an optical illusion, but... Ever since then, we've been obsessed with life on Mars, go figure, and we don't, haven't found any yet, and uh, I don't know if we ever will, but anyway, that was the first of many missions like these, and then uh, from 2004 to 2015, we had a, a mission called MESSENGER, which was an acronym for Mercury Surface, Surface Space Environment Geochemistry and Ranging, um, and this was a robotic spacecraft that uh, was orbiting Mercury, and uh, it was the first. Uh, it was the first uh, uh, spacecraft to orbit Mercury since uh, since um, what was it? Uh, you know, since the nineteen seventies. I forget what the the previous one was called. I thought I wrote it down here, but anyway. Uh, so it it um, you know it if. First uh, flew by, it, it went to Mercury uh, twice. It flew by Mercury 2008, 2009, finally started orbiting Mercury from 2011 to 2015. So it orbited for four years. Finally, it crashed into Mars. But before it did, it made a lot of detailed observations of Mars and learned a lot about its geology and composition and its magnetic field. So that was a very useful mission. And... Um, then uh, we had the Mars Scout program from 2007 to 2008. Um, this was uh, um, a series of low-cost robotic uh, NASA missions to Mars. There were two spacecrafts that were selected, the Phoenix Lander and the Maven Orbiter. And uh, this is a picture of a Phoenix, I guess. Uh, um, and uh, it was... Uh, it was adapted from a canceled Mars Surveyor mission, and it was launched in 2007, and it landed in the northern polar region in 2008, and uh, again, it was uh, used to investigate the history of liquid water, 
and environments uh, suitable for microbial life on Mars. So there's been a lot of interest in that. And like I said, I don't know what they found. I guess I'd have to research this a little bit more. But uh, then we had Dawn from 2007 to 2018. This was a NASA spacecraft that was sent to explore and study the asteroids uh, Vespa and the dwarf planet Ceres. I think Ceres was originally called an asteroid. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt. It was also the first asteroid to be discovered. Now I guess they reclassified it as a dwarf planet. You know, it's the same as uh, Pluto, go figure, which used to be a planet. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so then the Vesp Vesta is the second largest asteroid, I guess, if you include Ceres. So it's the second largest object in the asteroid belt. So it went to both of them. And, and this is a pretty cool mission, I think, because it, it was the first mission that uh, flew close to any asteroids. And it also used a, a, an ion um, uh, thruster, I think, um, uh, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, use ion thrusters. So pretty cool. I think this one was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, uh, it, ex it first explored Vesta from 2011 to 2012, and it began exploring Ceres in 2015. It orbited it several times, but then it ran out of fuel. And uh, it's still orbiting it, but uh, it can't communicate with the Earth anymore. Once it ran out of fuel, it, it kind of became a, a dead, um, dead satellite of... Um, of series, so unfortunately, but I think it did relay some useful information while it was operating, and uh, and then uh, uh, we had LRO. This is still running. This was launched in 2009. This is a lunar reconnaissance orbiter, um, acronym LRO. Uh, it's a NASA robotic spacecraft uh, currently orbiting the moon. And it's a low uh, moon orbit, low lunar orbit. It's a polar orbit, too, just 50 kilometers above the uh, surface of the moon. And uh, it's, uh, you know, maps of the moon. Now we have really detailed 3D maps of the lunar surface. Um, I think you can probably, um, you know, get them on the web, maybe even download pictures. I haven't done this, but... Uh, and not only has it, it brought back really detailed pitch, you know, 3D uh, maps of the moon, but it also took the first uh, pictures of, uh, of the remains of the uh, Apollo missions that were left on the moon. So I think this should uh, quell any doubts anybody has about whether or not, you know, we really did go to the moon. <laughs> I mean, I think this thing probably proves that we have. <laughs> So um, ways to rest any conspiracy theories about, you know, the moon landings. Uh, I, I think we really did go there, and I, I think this thing probably proves that we did. Um, and I hope we go back. I mean, they, they are, you know, part of the uh, purpose of this mission was to try to investigate, you know, possible sites where we might be able to land again on the moon, and I really hope we do. It's been over 50 years, so anyway. Um, and uh, then uh, we have the um, MSL, which is an acronym for the Mars Science Laboratory. This was launched in 2011. Uh, this was another, another robotic uh, um, rover on Mars. This is actually the largest one ever built. Um, and, uh, you know, here's a... Uh, you know, it was sent by this huge... Uh, rocket called the Atlas V. If I'm not mistaken, I think the Atlas V may be the biggest rocket ever built, even bigger than the Saturn V. Um, it was launched in 2011. And, uh, you, know, um, you know, again, it was uh, sent to an chemically analyze Martian soil samples, and it's pretty sophisticated. It uses a laser uh, and sensor system to do so. So, Brings back some pretty detailed investigations, I guess. And uh, finally, we have Mars 2020, which, uh, as the name implies, was launched in 2020. And this is also still operating. And this consists of these two uh, uh, space scraps shown below. On the left is the uh, um, Perseverance rover. Um, and on the right is uh, the Ingenuity helicopter. And uh, the objectives of Mars 2020 include investigating astrobiological and geological history of Mars. So, like I said, a lot of that's being done on Mars. 
Um, anyway, those are just some recent uh, unmanned space missions that have been uh, that have been done or are still going on. And there's several others I haven't mentioned. Uh, I didn't talk about GPS. Maybe I should do that on another video because that's something I'm really interested in. But anyway, that completes my video for tonight. Um, thank you for watching. Let's make a better world, and I'll see you guys next time.